Hello everyone. Today you will notice I'm not alone anymore because, yes, that's right, Bandit, I'm talking about you today. This is a new breed of dog in the Hunter, the Blue Tick Coonhound. The Blue Tick Coonhound is a tracking dog that will help you track any wounded animal in the game. So come on, Bandit, let's go hunt. Okay, I found some roe deer up ahead with Bandit. So, let's get him to lie down. Hopefully he'll do as he's told. There we go. So he's lying down now. Let's call in this roe deer and get a shot. Looks to be two females and a male. So the male will probably come trotting in fairly fast. Unless he's in a group there with the females. Sometimes they don't come in fast. They like to stay off the females. Let's see if he comes in fast or not. Looks to be a fairly decent one. So he might be one of these males that likes to stay near the females. He doesn't seem to be trotting in, though he might change. Though it looks like he's taking his time. So Bandit's just there. He's not too far away from me. I want to get a bit closer here and take them. Hopefully I can take them on the land just here. So I can get a blood track for him. Because I have noticed that if I shoot an animal in the water, it doesn't leave a blood track. So he won't be able to track it. Male predicts 105 to 160. So not the biggest scoring male, but the weight ratio is really nice on him. So we'll do our best to get a horrible shot. I've been trying for a while to get bad shots, but all my shots seem to be drop killing all the animals. So, we'll see if I can get a bad shot this time. So he's coming in to the right, which is not really where I want him. Hopefully this works out. I would like to shoot him on the land, but I think he might detect Bandit before he even gets to the land. We'll see. Looks like he's coming on the land now. Yes, alright. Come on. Alright, there we go. Hopefully that was an intestine shot or something. Alright, so he's fleeing. Good. Oh, he's down. Alright, well that was a short tracking process. Whoop, hang on, that one didn't spook for some reason. Okay. Well, it's a good thing having your dog lying down. Because if you have him lying down, he doesn't do that aggressive stance posture. I'm not sure if that has increased risk of spooking the animal or not, but... Looks like I'm still okay. We'll see if we can get this one as well while we're at it. Seems like a lot of roe deer are coming in, actually. Another female over on the right-hand side. I want it to stop on the land if I can. 
But knowing these animals, I always seem to stop where you don't want them to. Come on, just get on the land there. That'll be perfect. Alright, good. I think she's detecting the dog, is she? I don't know. Oh, shit! Dropped it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, she's dead. Another one coming in. That one's having a bit more alert state. See how it's stopping and starting? Animals seem to do that after you when you shoot with a bow for about roughly five seconds or so. That's their alert state. So if you shoot again when they're doing that, it is a higher chance of them actually spooking. Okay, so hopefully we can get a neck shot or something on this rodeo and not drop kill it like that one. Alright, so that's where the other one stops. Let's see if we can do this again. There we go, perfect. Alright, so that looked to be an intestine shot. Yep. Alright, so this will be a long track, which is good. It's exactly what I want. Just see where she goes. Oh, there's another one coming in. But I'm going to have to leave her. And right, we'll see where this one goes. I think she's stopped somewhere over there. She might be down. Either way, we'll collect these two and then move on to the tracking one. Come on, bandit. Let's go. So, I want to see if bandit can actually detect the roadie in the water there. Let's have a look. So, detected that. You do have to ID which track you want, and then do track blood. So, he specifically knows which blood of that animal to go after. Come on, Bandit. Have you detected it? No. See, I think it's because it's in the water he's not too sure about it. Is he going for it? You see? Oh. Oh, great. He's stuck. Just what you want. Everything goes wrong. <laughs> Alright. Well, you can't do it. Let's try this blood track then. Hang on. Maybe if I go further down the line of the tracks. Can you do that one, Bandit? Oh, yep, there we go. Alright, he's on the right track now. Has he found it? Good boy. Yes, I know, Bandit, I know. Good boy. So I got that one in the right lung and intestines. That seems to happen a lot with my testing that I've done. I've noticed I've hit the right lung and intestines. But there you go, that was that one. Not a big roe deer, but just an example. Now this is the one I drop killed just up here. So we'll harvest that one and then we'll move on to the other one. It should take a while to track, hopefully. Now to track this one, I'm not going to use the hunter mate at all. I'm just going to rely purely on the dog and we'll see how we go from there. So this was the weirdest ballistics result I have ever seen with the hitbox. Wow, okay, that arrow went absolutely everywhere. What the heck? All right, wow. <laughs> There we go. Let's see how we go with this. Alright, so here's the here's the true test right here. Let's see if we can get... Where is it? There's that blood track. I know I hit it. I saw blood kick up. Here we go. Intestines. Alright. Go get him, girl. I mean, boy. I hope he can. Come on. I oh, know he's going into the water. God damn it. Stop going in the water. Come here. What are you doing? I think I might have to do a few tracks up ahead, actually, if he's not going to cooperate here. 
Seems to be, when, when they're near water, the dog's AI seems to go a bit squiff. We'll try this one. Nope, it's not a blood track. It won't work. Oh my god. I don't want to go too far because I want to rely on my dog to track this, but looks like I just need a blood track again if I can get one. Come on. There has to be another blood track around here somewhere because I hit it with a bow so it should keep on bleeding. Here we go. Here's a blood track up here. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. There it is up there. Damn it. I was hoping for a longer track, but let's see what you can do now. Come on, bandit. What are you doing? Alright. I think he's on the scent now, is he? Yep. So we'll just see how well he goes after the road here. Oh, shit. Wow, that was fast. He didn't even look at the tracks. He just went straight to the corpse. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Alright, we'll try it again on another animal. See if we can get successful with that. Okay, we have some red deer up ahead. There's my dog there, Bandit. He's lying down. And we'll see if we can get a bad shot on one of these red deers. Even a lung hit, just a single lung would be fine. Nope, that one went down really fast. Okay. <laughs> it's always the way. Alright, we'll see if we can get this one. Hopefully in the body or something. Have a really long track time. We'll try our best. Nope. Another drop kill. Alright. I am trying to get maybe a single lung at best, but it seems like this bow wants to drop kill them all. Alright, last attempt here. Hopefully if it stops at 60 meters or something, I'll try to get a really long shot off so it will count as a body hit. Here's 40 meters again. Alright. Come on. Perfect. That looked like an intestine shot or something there, so that will be a nice long track. So let's harvest the two that we drop killed, and hopefully Bandit will track the last one. So we got this double lung and intestine there. Okay. And this one was... This was a right lung, liver, stomach, and intestine. And the one that we want Bandit to track, I think we hit him around about... You hit her right about here, I think. Didn't we? Yes. Alright, so I'll let this one bleed out for a bit, and talk to you then. Okay, I've waited long enough that it's actually started to rain. <laughs> Let's get the dog in. Come over here. Come on. Good boy. Alright, so I've given it enough time that the animal should leave loads of tracks for Bandit to go after here. Alright, so I'm not going to use the Hunter Mate at all. I'm going to just purely rely on Bandit here. Let's see how we go. Definitely going the right way. So 
So it looks like this method of actually hunting without the hunter mate now as like a challenge hunt is pretty viable. All you gotta do is bring along your coon hound and you should have a nice little challenge hunt being that not to use the hunter mate at all. Maybe give that a try. It'd be a hard challenge but I have done something very similar to that before. Just an idea. But yep, we are definitely going the right way. Because if you think about it, if you don't use the hunter mate at all, that means you're not IDing calls, you're not IDing tracks. You've got very, you're very unaware of everything that's around you. And I think we're going this way. Bandit says we're going this way, so I'll just keep following him. Yep, looks like he's taking a bit of a shortcut here. Good boy. Find it, boy. Find it. Oop, oh, might have lost the scent. Where has he found the scent? I will try again, just to be sure. Wasn't planning to use the hunter mate there, but looks like I had to. Because he lost the scent. Come on. Find it. What are you doing? Oh my god, what's he doing? Just when we're going so well. Maybe it has to be another track, hang on. I might have to use the hunter mate after all. Damn it. Alright, we'll try this one. Come on, boy. Go after it. Yes. Ah, oh, very good. You found it. There we go. Yep. Alright, so that was without the hunter, mate. Unless he just stopped there because we were pretty much near the animal. But either way, we tracked that animal without using the hunter, mate, at all. Just relied purely on the dog, and he came through in the end. Let's see. Yep, intestines, and it was 5 minutes and 23 second wing time. So that worked out very nicely. Dog is a great addition to have. Hopefully, I can do a test on bear next, and we'll see how we go with tracking bears. Okay, I found a bear just up ahead. This is a perfect test. It's nice and broadside, so I should get at least a stomach or an intestine from this. We'll try our best, and then Bandit can track it. So that should be an intestine or stomach at least. So it's spazzing out. That's exactly what we want. Looks like Bandit's ready. <laughs> Let's go over and see the damage. Alright, I've arrived at the site where I shot the bear. Here's the first blood track. Let's see if Bandit can track this bear, even though it's spazzed out pretty hard here. Hopefully he can find it. Come on, boy. Go get her. Alright. If this helps with bears, I'm going to be so damn surprised. It's going to be like a must on bear hunts, at least for me. Good boy. Oh my god. Come on, boy. You can get it. Get the bear. Oh my god, it said just up there. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. It found that bear no problem at all. Good boy. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. The dog is like a must for bear hunts now. That's amazing. Good boy. I'm so pleased with that. And I hit it in the stomach, so perfect example right there. Wow. So. The coon hound. Is it worth a buy? It is indeed worth a buy. 
If it can track bears that easily, with them spazzing out and doing 360 loop-de-loops around the place, I highly recommend you buy the dog. Also, I will say that if you get your dog to lie down like this, when you have animals close, it is much better because you don't have much sound that the dog generates roaming around next to you. And that's always really helpful when animals are super close because then you don't know if it's the deer making that sound with the dog running around the place or if it, if it actually is just from the dog. So I highly recommend for you to command the dog to lie down before you get into close contact with any deer. Also, I will say if you ever wanted to put your dog in a trophy shot, the best way to do it, if you're still unsure, is just press F and it should come up with the help every command there for you to do. So for instance, mouse 1, which is left click, is moving the dog. Mouse 2 is rotating the dog or player. And then W and S is for switch stance on your dog, so that's interesting. You can get your dog to sit during a trophy shot, or you can get them to lie down. So I just thought I'd show that, just in case anyone's having issues with getting their dog to behave in trophy shots, that's the best way to do it. Um, have fun! That's it for this video. Remember, if you want to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, Thanks for watching.